Hey guys, it's Nicole Kirshner from the JCB Real Estate team. Today I am bringing you day two of our 30 favorite places in 30 days around Oxford County. Today I am standing at the Tilsonburg Airport and I am here for the uh, Canadian Harvard Association uh, flight day. So the Canadian Harvard Association is a volunteer based association that um, is dedicated to preserving and maintaining the history and um, the actual Harvard aircrafts that were used for training for both the British Commonwealth, Commonwealth and uh, the Royal Canadian Air Force. So a um, little piece of history here uh, that is pretty unique that we have right here in Oxford County and today they are actually having one of their fly days. So uh, I'm going to buckle up and go for a little flight in the Harvard aircraft. Stay tuned. So the Tilsonburg Regional Airport is located just off Highway 19 on Airport Road. And it was actually built during World War II as a secondary relief field for the Royal Canadian Air Force. So now it's basically a general aviation facility for several organizations and businesses. And it's also home to the Skyway Cafe, which offers food and refreshments for visitors. So if you happen to be out there, no worries, you've got food and refreshments available to you. Just a little tidbit of information, um, during World War II, the British Commonwealth would actually fly their pilots here to southwestern Ontario to train them for combat and then they would fly back. The Canadian Harvard Aircraft Association currently have about eight Harvards in their possession that are in various stages of restoration. And all of the restoration work, the organization for flight days and everything else, all done by these amazing volunteers that are working so hard to keep this important piece of our history alive and well right here in Oxford County. Well, this is my plane, uh, which I'm about to get into. Feeling a little bit nervous, a little excited at this point. It's a teeny tiny little plane and it's a kind of an old plane, but um, I've been ensured it's completely safe. Uh, so after a little bit of onboarding and coaching, I am all strapped in and ready to go. Okay guys, wish me luck. <laughs> Just waiting for another Harvard to come in for landing before we're cleared to hit the runway. So as we're taxiing down the runway, I'm, you know, taking a look outside and I'm surprisingly calm for being in this very small and very old <laughs> aircraft. And the one thing that struck me is the fact that like, I didn't even know when we had left the ground because it was so smooth, but we are clearly airborne heading towards the skies. And sorry, what does that sign say? Um, of an emergency, push glass out. Let's hope I don't need to worry about that. Well, for those of you who may have been wondering, what does Silsenberg look like from the sky? You're welcome, here it is. moment when your pilot decides to take a little bit of a drop and turn without letting you know ahead of time it was a good fun moment and fortunately he did check in with me to make sure I was all right. So one last little loop around the airport as we prepare for our descent coming down in the trees here, feel a little bit nervous about how this might go. But as you'll see, it was unbelievably smooth. I barely knew that we had landed. And we're in this teeny tiny little plane and it was smoother than any landing I've ever experienced in a commercial aircraft before. with Alan Page who was my trusted pilot for the flight. Alan, uh, it's really nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. Do you, can you tell me how long have you been a pilot for the Harvards? I've been flying them since about 2005, so 16 years now. Nice, excellent. Um, and what does it mean to you to be able to 
fly uh, for the Harvard or fly a Harvard? Well, it's, uh, these are historical airplanes. You know, they're they're planes that a lot of our World War II pilots learned to fly in, and so it's just a great thrill to be able to fly them and to take people up, people like you up for them, so they can experience the thrill of it as well. For sure, yeah, it was definitely thrilling. Um, thank you so much. I really well. appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, everybody should uh, put this on their bucket list to come and try this out. Well, guys. I survived my flight, my hair, not so much, but that's okay, it was to be expected. It was well worth it. It was an incredible experience uh, that I had up in the air uh, in a World War II training plane. I mean, how many people can say that they've done that? It's un unbelievable. So I really recommend you add it to your bucket list and come to the Tilsonburg air Airport and check this out. Check out the Canadian Harvard Aircraft Association. Put it on your list and make it one of your new favorite spots in Oxford County as well.